Now that we have done the brush tool, the pencil tool, let's move towards amazing option, an amazing tool, the mixer brush tool. I totally adore this tool, so let's move forward. The mixer brush tool actually can give us realistic painting techniques such as mixing colors on the canvas because actually your brush will, can now behave like a wet brush, a realistic brush. So we can combine colors on a brush and we can also vary the wetness across the stroke. So basically these are the options. We can change how wet our paint on the canvas can be. We can decide how much paint we want, how much load of paint we want on our brush. We can mix two paints with the brush on the canvas. We can load colors by having alter option clicked. We can also enable the auto clean which will clean our brush before use again and also we can do auto load which will enable loading every time. So let's go ahead and learn this amazing feature and create some realistic canvases. Let's dive in Photoshop. The mixer brush tool in Photoshop basically lets us paint in Photoshop as if we are actually painting on a real canvas. So basically we can you know uh, decide the amount of wetness we want and how much load I want that color to have. So you can have a higher load if you want the color to be fully loaded. You can have a lower mix if you don't want the colors to mix. And we can have maybe you want a dry color, you want a wet color. So you can choose what kind of color you want to work in. You can go ahead and clean your brush. And you know, wherever you want to click, it's going to take the color. You can go ahead and change the brush size. So if I'm working with, you know, uh, something which you know maybe a leafy area I can if I further go down and select this so that when I'm working with a leafy it's going to work appropriately so if I'm working here I can just you know and you will see that it's actually being converted to and I can also keep brushing and I can go again, again if I feel that my brush as you know needs a clean up. I have gone here. I can again go here, clean my brush, and again I can start brushing. So, so you know, slowly and eventually you're gonna realize that, or maybe you can take a color from here, or if you can also you know, you can take it from the background. So wherever you start clicking, it's gonna take on. So. Slowly and steadily, you will realize that you have changed the entire color of this area. You can go ahead and change the wetness to increase it. So if I go here and I've increased my wetness and again, I'm going to choose my color. Okay. And again, I can go and increase my wetness or I can also work on this layer. So it's going to take time, maybe another 15, 20 minutes to create some, a really artist convert your normal image to an artistic image. And you can also, you know, on a, in a simple page, if I show you, and so let me have a blank page to show you. I'm going to do a control N, and I have a blank page. Okay, create. And let me just show you that in case, so I want a color. I want maybe another brush. I'm going to go here. I want a normal brush, and I want a different color, pink, and maybe... So it's actually coming like a wet brush as if you're painting on the canvas. So this is not how my actual plain brush works. And you can go ahead and you know change it. You can be very wet, very wet, heavy mix. So, so it depends, you know, which color you want to work on. And you can just uh, go ahead and change colors. You can go ahead and you can... So I can just start painting over again so it's basically loaded I need to go ahead and you know maybe clean my brush and I'm gonna say just load solid colors only and I'm gonna go here again I'm gonna ch choose a color and I will start painting so I need to change this very heavy with you know it's going too heavy and we cannot see I can go dry heavy and it will start painting so you can vary your kind of brush, you can vary your kind of uh, kind of brush size, the brush and the kind of dry, heavy load, moist, wet. So basically it works like the brush tool. The only difference is that here you can vary the 
wetness and we can convert a normal picture into an artistic picture with having wet colors on my portrait.